welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the free Sabre plugin to create awesome tracked outlines around your object. There's loads of applications for an effect like this. You'll be able to create lightsabers, magic, and so much more. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe down below. Let's get into the video. If you want to follow along at home, the footage will be available in a link in the description. First, we need to drag our footage into After Effects and then drag it into our composition. Then we just need to open up the layer to edit it individually. Then select the Roto Brush tool and find a frame in your video that's going to be easy enough to cut out the entire object. Then using the Roto Brush tool, just highlight the area you want to cut out. If the Roto Brush tool does add anything extra in, just hold Alt and then draw over those areas to deselect them from your selection. Another great tip to help you use the Roto Brush tool effectively is to hold Command and drag your mouse to resize the brush. This is what helps you get the small and precise little edits you need to make sure that you've got a clean cutout of your object. Then just hit the space bar and let the Roto Brush automatically cut out the object from the next frames in your video. You can always pause and check up on how it's doing, and if you see anything different going on, you can always just edit and adjust it. If you would like a more accurate rotoscope, you can always hit page up and down to go through frame by frame. I've got a completed rotoscope that I'm quite happy with, so the next step is to go to Layer, Auto Trace, and then just make sure that it's selected for the entire work area. The Auto Trace tool is going to leave us with a mask that's identical to the Roto Brush cutout that we've just created. Now that we're done editing the layer, we just need to go back into our Composition tab. Then just reopen our original layer and disable the Roto Brush effect, so then we can see the entire image again. The next step is to create a new adjustment layer, and I'm just going to rename mine to Saber Effect, and then copy and paste the mask from the Auto Trace tool onto our new adjustment layer. Next, just go to your effects and presets and find the Saber plugin and add it to the adjustment layer. The screen will go black, so just make sure that you change the adjustment layer to the blending mode screen. Next, we just need to go into the Saber effects control panel, open up the customized core and change the core type from Saber to layer masks. This will apply the Saber effect to the mask that we've just created. Now that we do have the Saber effect applied, if you want to be able to see it clearly without having the mask in the way, go onto the adjustment layer and lock the mask. This will stop the mask from showing any of its points on screen while you're editing. Now if you want to make your effect generate in like I have in the intro, you just need to change the start offset. So just hit the stopwatch next to start offset and then change it to zero at the beginning of the clip. Move a few seconds into your clip and then change it to 100%. Now that we have the Saber effect tracked and applied to our object, you can go crazy customizing it. There's loads of amazing presets already built in like these, and you can always make whatever you want out of it, playing around with all the different adjustments to get the effect you want. You can even use the color picker tool to create a slick scene like this. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See ya.